Hey guys, Denis Kozur here. In this video I want to show you how to make this chair. We will start from the legs. So here I will create a plane. When you're dealing with these kind of shapes that are not so even and in the one space or plane dimension, I mean, you can start with shaping out manually one part and do the symmetry with another. I will move it away from this box and here I think you can do it by yourself, upload reference drawings and some photos, scale them up. Here with one width and length segment I will convert this to edit pole poly. Then here I will add additional edge by connecting here another one this can be a little bit higher. Here I can delete this polygon. Then I can move it here like this. And uh, then I can move press and insert pivot point to this side. Press insert again to disable changing pivot point. And from here I can add symmetry modifier. So we have another side for free. I will rotate it with angle snap by 45 degree, pressing 1 and changing the gizmo symmetry. Next, from here we can try to make this edge, so I will select those vertex from here and then I will move them to the side. So we get this kind of the shape. But here we can also add the top one. So I will just extrude it like this to the up side and from here we will drag them slightly out so we get more even distribution for the edges. From here we can also try to add this section line from here and now we can move this vertex inside maybe from this side it will be more comfortable like this so we get this nice triangle shape and then we can close it all right so when you get the base form we can start to look what we need else for example we can add turbo smooth modifier with two iterations and see which edges we doesn't have i mean supportive edges so First of all, we need to get this shape more harder. So I can, for example, add one extra edge here, extra edge for this side, also for the top one. So we go like this, adding new edges. And here I will add another one for this side and for this side. Now from here we have a total mess, but we are gonna solve it. From here I can continue this line here. Using cut tool I will go like this and from here go like that. Alright, then I get this more nicer shape. I need to recreate it here. So I will just continue this line straight up here. And from here I create another one with the swift loop, then with the cut tool another one here. Alright, now we can dissolve this triangle and we get this quad shape, nice and even. Then we need one more supportive edge here to make this shape look right. And from here when we get all these additional edges done, we can try to go upper about the symmetry, add another edit poly, then select those edges. I want to select this one that need to be connected, so I will deselect from here, from here, this one, press bridge and for these both edges I'll bridge them too. So we get something like this. So you can see pretty much what we have here. Then from that we can start bridging this together. 
but before I want to create more straight edge here like this also I can use another symmetry modifier rotated by 45 degree to get this kind of the shape that I need and from here we can start to manage how it will be done I will also raise this side up like that from here I will add another loop here and one more here to get these things and from here so from here I will move it like this to see where it will be connected just a little bit so it is enough to connect to those sides and from here I can select both those edges bridge them together do the same for this bridge them as well and the, we get this kind of shape we need additional edge here and one more here all right and uh, maybe let's add another edit poly above the symmetry so we get more from this shape i will cap it and then from here i can try to solve the geometry so here it can be connected like this this side will be done with the symmetry so i will connect this and here i can add another edge like that and then connect this one here we can make these things go more gradually not like maybe uh, this one also as well so i will not touch if it works well just solve this one so it can go like this and we doesn't need maybe this shape like triangle i will add another symmetry modifier rotate it by 45 degree and see what we get here if it fits with you and you think it all right you can leave it as it is now we can try to make more additional geometry there try to do something with this here i will just move this to the symmetry point then add another edge loop select these polygons and delete them because i don't need them then from here i will add another sportive edge and get the shape like this here i can straighten up by x axis like that and here we can also straight this vertex all right we get this shape from here i will add this seam so we get this shape maybe we can move it a little bit closer like that add another one and in the middle i will make another here we will do extrude with slight amount inward like this all right and i think it's okay you can try to make here with the chamfer more straight corner if you wish but here i will go with this seam do the chamfer with zero and open so it will cut my geometry into two elements if i select this element it selects separately from this now we get it on both sides and we can go here add another edge loop for this bottom part so i doesn't i have like this maybe i'll do it again like that extrude it can be with the same volume all right then with the chamfer zero open so it chamfers like this and add an additional edges here so we get more straight values and from here i will add another edges with connection maybe three of them and place them like this to even the geometry 
and we get this shape nice then from here I can make this one go longer like that all right then above the symmetry add another edit poly and create symmetry by x axis press one here flip and place it like this from here add another symmetry modifier by z axis flip press one and yes we don't need the flip so i will just drag it like this here we need to see as an instance copy and rotate by 90 degree to this side so get it here move it all right then add ffd modifier to by two select those vertex and change the position like this here like that all right then you can go here select ffd modifier select all those back vertices and with the scale change them like this nice we get this shape done then we can add another edit poly select these middle edges and as you can see here we have some angle some curve shape to the bottom and outside like this and do the same for this one outside like that then we can delete this part and do the symmetry again but firstly i will select this vertex then add symmetry then press flip now it snaps to this vertex and get my symmetry in the right place as you can see here we get these things done you can cap the bottom part in this video let's make the back of this chair i will start with simple plane i can make it these sizes at one segment and two width then i can place it right in the middle of the chair legs convert to editable poly delete this half and then rise it up like this i will move it here so it fits with my chair and move it like this here so it matches up i will flip this to the other side so it normals will be here all right we can assign the material on it so it's not so colorful and from here i can also create another copy for the sitting next we need to add symmetry so we can select this vertex symmetry flip all right now we have it we need to go as low poly as we can from here i will extrude another side like this move it in the place then select both those two objects and as an instance copy it to the side rotate by 90 degree like this all right and from here i can continue with edit poly if i place it like this from here i can also above add turbo smooth modifier maybe with two or one iteration press alt x and as you can see here i don't have enough geometry to continue but i can do the basic shape like this all right so if it looks like the base block out this is good enough we can try from here move it slightly like this all right pretty enough for me and like this i think it's pretty all right we can remember the silhouette the base form and here we can start at new shape so for example let me add one more here so we can adjust this shape like this all right then you need to remember that your shape doesn't look only in this side but here as well so we need to move it like this maybe as you can see here it needs to go more like that to get in this position as you can see here we have this angle pretty straight up so it goes maybe like that all right then this vertex go too far away 
can move it back like that. As you can see, I go with very low poly geometry, so I can easily manipulate it without any other edges. Then from here I understand that to get this curve shape I need one more edge. So I will edit like this, for example in the middle. Then let's select them all and place them. With TurboSmooth Premium we can see that yes we get some kind of the shape that we want. All right, from here it's look pretty well. Here on the side not so as we expect, expected. Maybe we need to look on the photos and see how it fits there. So as an instance copy, go like this. You can see that it's not perfectly matched, so we need to keep this in mind. I already can see from here that I need to change the position of those vertex inside, so it's not so Aside. It's much more nice and curved shape like this and now I get it pretty well. I think so that I can move this aside to make it more rounder. I can add one extra loop here, extra one here, connect those both and delete those. Control backspace, control backspace. And now when I apply Turbo Smooth, it goes like this. Pretty well, we starting to get this shape. Maybe it's more flat here, like that. As you can see here. Pretty all right. Maybe I'm less like this. You can go here. And when you get the base shape, you need to understand that I cannot go here with very precisely or this tutorial will be very long. You need to do it manually by yourself. I mean you need to make it more precise. From here I will add shell. Maybe three centimeters will be well. We can straight straighten corners or not. I think not. All right and after turbo smooth we get this kind of the result. If you like it very well maybe here we can from the top view make it little bit rounder like that all right if you like it we can move on to the seat in this video let's make the seat so i will continue with this plane that i prepared previously i will move it to the center of the stool so from here I can select it, move like that, add symmetry modifier, flip it and from here let's continue working on it. Can return to the seat, make it not transparent. All right and from here we can start create the basic shape, how it will be appears on the chair. All right, then we have this angle. To do so, I will delete this one and go with this shape. Copy it as an instance, rotate by 90 degree and copy as an instance again. Place it here on the photo. It will be more easy to read the form. So let's start with the basic. What we can do here. First, first of all, we need to make the cuts for this back. So I will delete this polygon. Then we need to change the edge flow. So I can select those vertex, three of them, and then with the chamfer, I can make, make it something like this, maybe a little bit smaller. All right. Now I need to manually add the edge loop that will be working with this vertex like that. And here go like this, just connect them and then move it here. Now I get this edge ring, as you can see here, it flows like it needed to be. If I will add Turbo Smooth above, we can see that we get this kind of the shape. Pretty well, we can adjust it a little bit more to make it more cleaner. So 
how we can deal with it. We can add vertex here, for example, or place it like this. And you have four side polygon, four side polygon here we have. So I can place it maybe here. One more like that. One goes here. This one can go here. It nothing to worry because TurboSmooth will solve this triangle. But as the result, we get something like this. From here, I can make this straight and connect it like this. So I get the base geometry that I can deform. Pretty nice. And I think we can add one more here to make it more even. All right. I think it is all right. And we can move here, change and adjust the position of those vertices to make them connect this back side more gradually. Something like that. I hope you can make it more precisely so I don't waste too much of time and this tutorial not will be so long and boring. After that we can go from this side, maybe select all as an element, place the pivot point to the center of the object. Let's try to do this again. I want to select it from here, freeze it without show frozen in gray so I can select this plane, go to the edit poly, select all, rotate it like this, move it slightly up and I think it's all right. Then we can select this vertex, go something like this and from here I can select those edges with the shift key extrude two times to get something like this and go down. All right. Maybe those vertex not so pushed away, something like this. Again, as I said, you need to do it more precisely. Maybe move this one to the top, this one, except the bottom parts as well need to go slightly up. This one without this goes something like this, I hope will work. Select those edges, except this one with the shift key extrude by Z axis, make planner align with that and then target welded here. It's all right there. Then we get something like this and from here we can select this edge ring, deselect this part, inset it, maybe like that. All right. Then we need to select those polygons here, we doesn't need it. So we can select this vertex and go with the snap like this. Here you can move those guys down and from here we get this nice edge ring, but it doesn't need this on the bottom. So I will delete it. I think this one as well. Select to down, select all this edge, make it make planner Z. Come back here, move it like this. As you can see here, we get far away. So we need slightly rotate it and go back. And we can select all those bottom vertex and move them down like that. Now we get this basic shape of this chair. You can manually go and maybe after one turbo smooth let me place it slightly down after that you can go with one turbo smooth at edit poly select those grow a little bit like that maybe go a little bit up shrink a little bit up shrink and like that you create this uneven more smooth shape and with another turbo smooth it will looks more interesting. You can define more this shape, make it like you wish it to be shown. In this video we will continue working on this chair and let's define the shapes and make the seams. I mean this one. So first of all when I get this back side with one turbo smooth I will add another edit poly. But before I think we need to 
make this shape looks more hard on this side and less hard here. So to do this I will add one extra loop here and make it appear more harder. All right, but with the shell it creates on both sides. So I will add edit poly after the shell, then add this kind of supportive edge here and now we get it more harder look like this. All right, after that I will add edit poly above the turbo smooth. I can delete this side select all those vertex, vertex symmetry, flip and then add turbo smooth again. All right, now we need to make this corner looks to sit in the place where we need it. But before I forget to delete this bottom part and we get this. So let me redo this on the edge poly, select all those edges, deselect the top ones only on the bottom and with inset let's make it like this then delete it now we get this shape fine pretty good enough for me then add edit poly symmetry above flip and now we can try to adjust this corner select this vertex and move them slightly to the side like this, this one as well. So we get this thing close. Maybe something like this can work or you can make it more gradually, more even, more nicer. I hope you get it. All right, now I can continue working with this shape, forming it, making the seams so I can maybe select those apply soft selection lesser than this and slightly push it here maybe select more polygons like that and go with something like this with without effect backfacing less fell off something like that i hope this will works but as i said before you need to spend much more time maybe on this edit poly you can change those edges a little bit maybe this little bit inward like that so you get more nicer shape to work with these edges can go slightly like this i think you get the main idea of what you need to do all right, now when we get this shape done, let me show you how you can create these kind of seams. First of all, you go with edit poly above one of the turbo smooth, so we get more smooth and nicer geometry. Then you, without soft selection, select those edges where you need to get the form or mean the seams. So I will add edit poly above the symmetry and create here with chamfer extra edges. Maybe distance will be like this to segments and press all right. Okay, I mean, then select those, create chamfer again and press okay. Then go in the middle, press chamfer, okay. Then we need to make an extrusion. Extrude change the distance to maybe 0, 0,1 centimeter in minus 0, 0,1 in the high. OK, then select these both. You can see here we get this type of mess, so we can fix it. When you select those edges, make extrude again. All right, I won't just fix these corners. All right, and then we take the edge in the middle, extrude with less width, maybe 0, 0,3. All right and here as well extrude it like this and i forgot this one so here in the middle the same settings this one as well then select those edges extrude with different width like this all right and then after turbo smooth we get this nice seams i do them 
one by one so we get more nicer geometry here without too much of destruction and you do the same here go with edit poly select the site you wish to create the seam at the chamfer 0 3 in this case maybe 0 2 will be also right two segments okay then extrude like this and minus one inside as you can see here these two edges collapsed together we need to weld them and after we get this one done select this edge extrude minus one i mean zero one here less maybe zero three and press one select all the vertex weld lesser amount all right now we get nice seam here and we need one in the middle select this chamfer maybe higher like that okay extrude change this to one all right and select in the middle extrude lesser all right and finally we get these seams so we get pretty much of this chair you need to define more spend more time to create better shape and in the next video i want to show how to add some imperfections and some of this element from the seam in this video i want to show how you can add some imperfections so first of all you can add another edit poly then add turbo smooth to create some wrinkles to do so you need with edit poly let's isolate how i edit here so let's create these seams maybe on the side so you can go with the cut tool and add these extra edges the main that you doesn't get all those edges on one edge i mean they doesn't end there and when you add as many geometry as you need then you can go and select this all or randomly select some of those edges like this and looking at turbo smooth result you can move them to the side and as you can see you will get some sort of these wrinkles you can add more turbo smooth modifier and this all depends on your taste how much of it you wish in my opinion better way to do this in zbrush but if you doesn't want you can go here with this cut tool then how you can add this element let me show you on the back so here i will add another edit poly modifier on top then we need to select middle parts like that here as well where we want to add those seams all right and the last one fine then when i get it create shape linear and from here go to the line enable in render enable in viewport you can isolate it so you can see better what we get here six steps six sides just the thickness maybe a little bit more and then you need to normalize the spline to make it with even distance may not count 300 for example here will be enough we just need to show nuts and we need to have those vertex with the even size maybe 200 will be enough all right then convert to editable spline here change interpolation to zero so we get less geometry then select zero then we select all vertex and here break after that you need to check that all vertex separately when you get it maybe some of this you want to delete select and delete all those even before the break so you doesn't have those ugly geometry you can do this manually these elements like this all right now when you get it select all vertex break and from here convert to editable mesh then you can select all elements 5 ctrl a press r to scale and then scale them as you can see here it doesn't divide it so i will come back to editable spline select all break this one check yes it's break down 
convert to digital mesh, select all elements and from here try to rescale them. Alright, now it's working and from here we can add turbo smooth modifier and we get these nice seams but they cause too much of polygons more than all chair so it's all up to you do you want this cost of polygons for this kind of detail or don't you can make it this optional hide and unhide on the close-ups or you can add this by normal map and displays i hope you get the idea in this video let's unwrap this chair i will isolate it and convert all to editable poly i will delete this element because i don't want it from here yes everything to edit poly here i will check that all vertex are weld with low threshold all right then let's do an, one unwrap in 3ds max here with this seat so to check let's add checker to the diffuse color tiling by 10 show this in viewport like this fine uv mapping clear unwrap uv and from here i want to maybe select those all reset text form reset selected convert to editable poly maybe let's place it here in the middle of the scene and isolate now uv mapping clear unwrap and it place it like this okay so i will select the seam here double click and the seam here Control and double click convert to seams select all and uh, from here a quick pill I hope it works then you can use tools relax amount one start to relax and wait a long long time until it will be done and created with more even distribution then you can normalize it pack normalize if you need some elements select them like this and rotate so the checkers go more straighter like that and pack it again this can be one way to go another one is for me more faster go with rise mv open it up from here we need to select all the seams that we want to create press c to cut another one c and cut cut and here cut all right when we cut them all select all press u and from the top i forget one so i will redo cut select all unwrap mm, and i think that i have one more here right cut one more to go cut select all unwrap o for optimize p for pack and we get something like this we can enable texture and as you can see it's done pretty fast file save and we get it here all right and the last one this so from here i will also do it in rise mv because it's a lot faster than 3ds max unwrap and i don't want to spend much more time wasting and waiting how 3ds max cannot do long straight shapes by itself so let's select those edges to make cuts cut it like this and then it one goes here one goes here all right then i don't want to make the seam here so i will cut from here maybe like that or if we doesn't want the seam to be here then we can go inwards like this cut here place one seam here and one more here i will show only the one leg you can do others by yourself i hope so let's show the texture we can create some cut here go it like this one one goes here and one here so we get this kind of shape here like this just create cuts where you need them let's select all unwrap see what it will create as i said i will show only one leg you can do many other side 
as you can see here we have it pretty nice done just copy repeat these steps on the other side and you will get it file save then you just can attach them or attach only those parts because they the same so attach go to unwrap select all open uv editor and then pack normalize like this all right and we are done in this video i want to show you how to create these kind of folds without changing the geometry or crushing it hey guys Denis kosher here we will work in zbrush for the creating displacement map so you need first of all to have nice uv unwrap like this for example then you export this geometry export selected for example let's create seed 04 obj you can add or doesn't smoothing groups and normals without any materials we don't need them export done go into zbrush i will clear the canvas and from here i can load import new geometry seed 04 like this then we draw press t to edit let's focus on it and uh, and from here we can subdivide it i will press ctrl d for a few times i can allow my pc or hardware allow me to go with this higher count you can go with a little bit lower for example like this or whatever your machine can support and from here we start to add our folds i will change the brush size you will need to explore the reference and go on addition and like you pressing to sculpt and you press also alt to go inwards so your geometry doesn't go outwards but inwards as well here you can sculpt whatever you wish i adjust my smooth brush so i go to light box i can go to the brushes here smooth and here cho choose smooth stronger it will create much more stronger smooth effect so you get faster your geometry in more smoother way from here you can adjust and add as much folds as you need but remember to go outwards and inwards this is the main rule and uh, also you need to look very carefully on the reference how it works in real life so your faults will look more real we will maybe discuss more different types of faults that you can create later in the course but for now i hope you will grasp the main idea of what you can do with this tool and how flexible and really nice it can be so when you finished up with this geometry i also advise you not to go too hard on the seams or they can be destruct later or your texture will be not so nice on it so save this tool as new tool so we can always come back and change it then we need to export displace map go to the plugin multimap exporter displacement choose it on the displacement then go to the export options displacement map i will enable smooth uv three channels 32 bit xr scale one mid i set to zero subdivision level one it starts from here k and when everything is done map size 4k create all maps it will name it all right press save it will create the displacement map and then you can go when it's done into 3ds max here create new material or just like you want whatever you want and from here i will just drag and drop this new displacement map as xr and as you can see here we can now start interactive render and we get all the geometry that we have in zbrush we can make it harder for example four centimeters and get this really strong result we doesn't need them but 
you need to know that it is here or you can make it there a little as you can see here like 100 percent exact the same geometry if you need more details you can go with turbo smooth modifier on top of it and make more iterations you will get maybe a higher definition results but in my case it works pretty well with this geometry i doesn't need anymore so it give me an opportunity to keep as low as you can see this polygon count but get these high quality details like stitches that i paint in substance painter some folds in zbrush we get very nice and even geometry without any messy mesh and um, i hope you enjoyed if you have any question please ask me and see you next time bye